Ms. Terry from the Crystal Lake Public Library, and I am here to tell you about one of my very favorite children's authors. His name is Kevin Hinkus. He comes from the Midwest, lives near Madison, Wisconsin, and he has been publishing books since he was 19 years old. And it's been a while since he was 19, so he has many, many children's books. I'm going to tell you about some of those. Many of Kevin Hinkes' children's books feature these mice characters, but they don't really act like mice. They act like people. And many of them are around four, five, six, seven years old. And one of the books is called A Weekend with Wendell. Wendell comes to spend the weekend at Sophie's house. And Wendell is very bossy. And Sophie doesn't like it. So she has to come up with a solution. Some other books that have these mouse characters are Chester's Way, Julius, the baby of the world. Julius, of course, is a baby and Lily is his big sister and she has a little trouble having a little baby brother who gets so much attention. Another mouse character book is Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum has a little trouble having such a long name and it's also the name of a flower. So she has to work through that when kids kind of make fun of her at school. There's also Owen. One of my very favorites, Lily's Purple Plastic purse and Lily's Big Day. One book that does not have a mouse looking character is Jessica and this is one of my favorites because I have a little girl named Jessica. She's not so little anymore. She's a grown-up person. But in this book Ruthie has an imaginary friend named Jessica and when she's five and she starts school, she really wants Jessica to come along. Kevin Hinkes also wrote books about the four seasons and his wife, Laura Dronzik, did the illustrations for these. Winter is here. When spring comes. Summer song. Look at the frog. And in the middle of fall. Some other picture books that Kevin Hink has, has written include Kitten's First Full Moon, which won the Caldecott Award, My Garden, Beautiful Flowers, Egg. Look at that big egg. What do you think is inside that egg? You'll have to read it to find out. And a parade of elephants. Five elephants go parading all around. Pretty recently, this book was published. It's called A House. It is pretty much for a toddler age child. And one of the newest picture books is Little Houses. And I just adore this one. It's set on the beach. It's beautiful. Kevin Hinkes doesn't only write picture books for the youngest kids. He also has some books that are called Readers. And those are for kids who are learning to read. And it's back to the mouse characters. This one is called Penny and Her Sled. And here's another one called Penny and Her Marble. There's also one called Penny and Her Song. Come in the library and look for those. They're wonderful. I'm reaching way down to find more. 
there are more. Kevin Hinkes has also written books for younger elementary kids. And Billy Miller, yeah, Billy Miller, is the main character in these books. Billy Miller, in the year of Billy Miller, is in second grade. So if you're in second grade or right around there, you might like these. So that's the year of Billy Miller. There's also one called Billy Miller Makes a Wish. Kevin Hinkes has also written some chapter books for older kids. One of them features a 10-year-old character, and the book is called Junonia. Doesn't it sound lovely? I love that title, Junonia. And one that features a middle grade character is Sweeping Up the Heart. Kirkus Reviews said of this book, it is like a Chinese brush painting made of words. Spare, luminous, lovely. So if that sounds like something you would like to read, pick up Sweeping Up the Heart at the library. As you can tell, Kevin Hinkes has written many, many, many children's books. And we would love to have you come in the library and ask us where you can find them.